So for this week's video, I asked you guys a few weeks ago whether you guys wanted to see a huge vintage thrift haul with over 70 plus pieces. I think it's like 80 plus pieces now. Oops. Or a thrift with me to Hawaii. The majority of you guys wanted the giant thrift haul. And I know it's a lot of clothes, but just to let you guys know that I love thrifting and I love finding vintage pieces at the thrift store. I love hunting for them, cleaning them, taking care of them, fixing them if they have problems and it's just something I really enjoy and love doing. I also sell some of the pieces on my Etsy as well. That's my little disclaimer, I guess. Now I'm just going to get right into it because it's, it's going to be a long one. The first items I'm going to show you are from an estate sale that I recently went to. I love estate sales, but I don't really like going on the first day. One of them I went on the first day and it was hectic. Let me tell you, everybody was running. They're all running towards the vintage clothes and they're like grabbing clothes like this, like, like their life depended on it. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I just moseyed on over there, saw some things I liked, took them off the rack and I was like, I'll just take you and you all right i'm gonna go so it was pretty crazy i think it's because there was a lot of buyers there so they're just like trying to get as many items as they can but this estate sale i recently went to the prices were a lot more affordable there weren't people frantically running around trying to grab items so let me just show you guys what i got so the first item i have are these 70s white trousers and the zipper's broken on them so i need to fix that Yay. I also found this 70s plaid button up and it's from the brand Kennington, California, which is from that brand that I got one of those 70s sweaters in my last thrift haul. And then I found this Izod Lacoste windbreaker and that's about it with that guy. You know those original Mickey ringer t-shirts or sweatshirts? I've been trying to find one of those out in the wild and I finally found one at this estate sale. It's just a crew neck sweatshirt with a little Mickey on it. He's just so cute. Unfortunately, the tag got ripped out, which is sad. Last item I have, it's a Budweiser windbreaker and it just has a cute little Budweiser patch on the front, these really cute striped designs on the sleeves and then the back says Budweiser Eagles and then it has a little soccer ball. So now I'm going to get into jackets. I recently went to Salvation Army and I found this antelopes jacket and it has like this really soft, I don't know what you call this. And it says AVHS and then it has a little, little antelope guy on it once again. Then I found this 1997 Rose Bowl Arizona State University jacket and I found this at a Goodwill actually around like the Fullerton area. This next item is a members only jacket which is interesting because this isn't like a typical members only style jacket. Kind of like a jean cotton material. I thought it was really interesting so I got it. So I bought a kids jacket. It doesn't fit me. It's by the brand London Fog and I like that brand. They make really nice jackets. So I've been really into these workout type jackets. As you can tell, I have three of them now. I found this Fell Pro Wear Ceiling is Science bomber jacket. I liked the collar of it and the little patch. I found more bomber jackets, y'all. I found this M N. NMRA jacket, which is National Motorcycle Racing Association. And it has it on the back as well. It looks like this jacket was never worn and it's by the brand West Ark Made in USA, which is also what this bomber jacket is the same brand. But this one says Carolyn. It says Oklahoma on a patch on the side. It has the United States flag on the other. And then on the back, it says Swabbing Johns Incorporated Lindsay, Oklahoma, and has a giant eagle on the back, which is the best part. At that hectic estate sale, I found this Shelby Cobra racing team jacket. <laughs> it's a pit jacket for Shelby Cobra, and I thought it was really cool. I was really surprised when I just saw it on the rack. Like, the rack was empty besides this, and I was like, you guys didn't pick up this guy? This guy? And it has 
the Ford on this side. Fun fact, I have a Ford. I found this black bear one in the kids section, so one second. Oh, and I found this beautiful vintage black bear ski jacket. I think it's probably from the 70s, maybe 80s. I'm thinking 70s just based off of the fit. It's beautiful. Harley, stop it. So I found this amazing acid wash denim jacket. It has a lot of pockets for all your necessities. It's by the brand Andy Johns, made in Macau. So I was really excited when I found this little guy. It's an official Boy Scouts jacket. Uh, it's from the 60s, 70s, what I found online. A lot of them have patches on them. This next item, I believe is from the 60s? I don't know, it's a beautiful blazer and it has this really pretty like rainbow plaidish kind of design. I've had a jacket just like this since like high school I believe. It used to be my dad's but my dad never wore it and so my mom used to wear it and it's just like this suede material in the front of the jacket and then it has like this knitted part on the sleeves and the back. This one is like a mustardy kind of color and the one I have is like a like a brown. The last two jackets are like the best jackets ever. Found this 70s faux fur collar jacket and it's absolutely beautiful. I love the pockets of them and it has this like little tie and I love the color. I didn't just find that guy. I also found another one. And this one's cooler because it's suede and it has like, I think this is like shirling. I don't think it's fur at all. I think it feels like shirling and they just like dyed it. And it's by the brand Montgomery Ward, the tannery. So those are the last of the jackets. Now we're gonna move on to like sweaters. These next two items are from that estate sale where everybody was just freaking going crazy. All right, so I found this World War II Navy uniform and I've actually been wanting one of these. I don't know why, I've been wanting one for years and the guy almost didn't sell it to me because he was like, oh, that wasn't supposed to be out on the floor. It wasn't for sale and he looked at it and he was like, oh, never mind, you can have it. I was about to cry if he wouldn't let me buy it and it fits me quite dandy. And then this is another sweater I found at an estate sale damaged. I can fix it. I, I have faith in myself. Whoever owned it, his or her, I, I'm, a, I'm assuming it's a his though because it's kind of big. Last name was Brown. This next item isn't really a sweater and I didn't want to consider it a jacket. It kind of is a jacket. I don't know. It's this 80s mariachi western looking kind of jacket. When I tried it on at the thrift store, a uh, old lady was like, that looks darling on you and I was like thanks. She made my decision and I bought it. So I found this really big cardigan like cotton sweater and it's by Art Unlimited and on the sleeve, one of the sleeves, it says Grand Canyon Railway and it kind of has like this Native American design on it with like the feathers and the concho. I thought it was interesting and unique so I've actually worn this sweater a ton it's just a kind of boring grandpa sweater, but it's super comfy. It's by the brand Charming Forge, made in the USA. So the first sweatshirt that I have is this San Francisco 49ers NFL on Fox little sweatshirt. It's from like the 90s, I believe. And then this guy, oh my gosh, I love this guy. It just has a bunch of geese all over it. And one of the geese is yellow and it's super soft. I found this sweatshirt, it has like a little zipper, zip up front kind of detail. And it has like these little pull strings on the side. I don't know what, why, why would, like you wanna, you want your neck to be choked. I don't, I don't get that. It says The Rock Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary, 1934 to 1963. Next item is for spooky season. And it just says witches brew for you and has this creepy little witch on it. This kind of design reminds me of my childhood in like the 90s when everything was like decorated like this for Halloween. Also a thing from my childhood, I used to collect Pokemon cards with my brother all the time. I found a 1999 Pokemon sweatshirt for a child. It The sleeves are like so short <laughs> when I try and wear it, they like go to here. But I'm keeping it and it has Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard. 
I had to look those up because I only remember Charizard. <laughs> the next sweatshirt I have, I absolutely love and adore. It says, closing down old fire station number one, and it's in San Bernardino, January 21st, 1983. And it says, a time to remember, and I was there. And the best part is there's a freaking clown, right? Okay, the last sweatshirt I have is one of my favorites. I've been wanting one of these, like, national park or just any wildlife type of sweatshirt. It has a pronghorn antelope on it. It says California. She's just a big old baby. So I found this vintage Chaparral Middle School Panthers shirt and... I don't know why I bought it. I didn't go to this middle school. I just thought it was an interesting shirt. I like the little panther on it. Oh, I just realized. Panthers. Panthers. I found a lot of 70s button-ups. I've been finding them like crazy. I mean, this one that I'm going to show you isn't really technically a button-up, but it's kind of like a similar style. It's really cool. It has like this suede detailing. It has like a little zipper. I love the colors. It has like a pocket with the same suede material and the bottom has suede as well. And I love the collar. Like look at that collar. I also found this Lands button up and I just liked how like the material kind of looked like a wood grain texture. And of course I love the collars. Okay, I found another 70s button up. It's from JG Hook. It's kind of like a plaid material, but it's very lightweight and thin, which is nice. So it's super comfy and breathable. Then I found this really cool private property made in the USA plaid button up, and I really liked the colors. Then I found this Mountain Tech wool button up, and I liked how these colors were kind of like Christmas colors, you know? Getting a little festive for Christmas time. Then I found this Young Capers of California. I think this is like 60s, 70s, little bow tie, tied up thing going on in the front and it's polka dot. It's pretty cute. It kind of reminds me of a clown blouse. And I found this really pretty 70s short sleeved button up and I loved the collar as well. And the little flower embroidery right here and it's by the brand Palm Tree California. So at the end of the Rose Bowl, there was just a box of clothes. One of the vendors just put a bunch of clothes in a box and set it out there and said it was for free. Have at it. And that was really nice. So stick around till the end of flea markets. Some people might be giving out things for free because they just don't want to take it home. And the person who gave out all the free stuff had their little tags on the clothes. It says, at Chula Chuko, thank you for the free clothes. <laughs> so I got this really cool like 60s, 70s button up top and I just love the color of it because it has that pointy design once again and it has like these little frills little lace frillies. Another item I got at the Rose Bowl Flea Market was this Glamis t-shirt. I've never been to Glamis. My boyfriend has, so technically I've been, right? It's from 1986. I found this really pretty Rosanna machine washable made in the USA, like little cardigan button up. I believe it's from the 50s. I thought it was just very darling and cute. I found two more 70s tops. This one is a button up all the way. It kind of looks like a little girl's dress, which is what I thought it was at first. But I mean, look at those sleeves. They're rather large and the colors were very pretty together. The last item is this 70s pear blossom rainbow, kind of, not really rainbow. It's very colorful striped v-neck shirt. I'm actually going to split up this video into two parts because I realized filming and editing 80 plus vintage pieces along with the try on portion of it is going to be a very daunting task. So it's going to be into two parts. So those are all the items on this thrift haul, which is a lot. And the next one will have all the rest. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video. Be sure to check out the second part if you want to know everything that I got. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching me talk about all these items. All right, see you in the next vid. <laughs> Later. What do you call these? Why is my brain not working? I'm awkward. <laughs> These next two, these next two. He had like every single cart. Antelope on it. Oh.